Well, good evening, folks. I'm back again from last night. This is, I already showed you this lot last night. I was going to break it up a little bit today. Hell, do it some other time. But somebody asked me there one time uh, what kind of quartz you look for. Find a little gold. For me, there's certain types I look for. But everybody has his own opinion, I guess. I'll show you a little bit of it. Ah, uh, here we go. Now this here, a lot in that box. That is from, that's still left over from the big one I found last year. I'm still breaking that up. But uh, you can see the uh, you know, veins of graphite and rust and stuff like that going through it. And, you know, stuff like this. This rock did it, it a lot of veins and a little different, I called it shale, it to help the schist or something they called it, but I just called it shale. Get a lot of that. It's black. Black sand stuff. It's so soft you can almost break it with your hands. But I found, uh, I found gold in a lot of this stuff. But I always pick over for my favorite kind of quartz is uh, that smoky colored stuff that's got a little bit of shale and stuff on it but, uh, I found a lot of gold through this here and I still got a lot of a lot of chips here to break up a little bit there's a nice little piece there that's bound to show a little gold when that's cracked open yeah, this here is from last year too. Still working on that rock. Uh, these little uh, here's that stuff here. Yeah, this black sparkly. Like I said, it could be anything. I call it shale. There is a name for it. I can't really pronounce it. But uh, I found I found big pieces of this, just black, no quartz at all in it. And it had uh, quite a quite a bit of gold in it. But uh, these little pieces here, I grind them up, and I, I got quite a few little nuggets in them little pieces. Stuff like this here, it's got rust on it. That's uh, good stuff there. These are cans I'm saving for a buddy of mine down in Texas. A little big. Uh, that black shale for him to crush up if he wants to. Guaranteed he'll find something in that. Also, there's a look at buckets of this here. Probably take me years to get to it. A lot of nice rusty looking quartz in there too. That's good. Another another nice little piece there too. And this here, anything I find that's got some rust or some veins or stuff going through it, is, I always grab that stuff up. And uh, this pure white stuff here, it's got a little spoky color too, but not much. I hardly ever find any gold in that real pure, pure white. But, like I say, could be anywhere. I mean, we were in the middle of uh, cleaning this basement out when this pandemic shit started. So it's quite a mess here. I've even got my own little uh, stream. It's an old school sump pump, I guess. This house is pretty old, so. Anyways, that's uh, some of my quartz. I got buckets. I guess I got buckets of this stuff laying around. I brought home that looks anything that looks promising goes in the bucket and I bring it home. But, uh, so this is my favorite kind here. You got that smoky quartz. 
And you got that shale in there, so it always produces something. This is also good, also good looking ore here too. And so there's pieces like this. But, and this is uh, this is good stuff here too. Like I say I had got a lot of rust and stuff like that in there. Some of it's showing a little speck of gold here and there. You can't see it on the camera. But this goddamn camera doesn't work as good anyway. But this is a nice piece. Get a lot of rust. Get some water on that thing. See what happens. Yeah, I got a lot of little, a lot of veins in there. You got some shale on there, you got some rust, just wood, everything in that. Looks like a dog's breakfast. Another nice one here too. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of this was a good one. I found a I found a couple of nice pieces on that and broke it off already. I'll break this open one of these nights and let you know what I find in it. There's a piece of gold in it already and I didn't even notice before. Right there. Tip of my finger. One. Another piece right over there. I didn't even notice that. All that rust in it. So that's going to be a it's going to be a charmer to break that open. I believe we'll find something in there that's yellow. And another nice piece of luck. That's the kind of quartz I look for. Stuff that, that's not pure, pure white. I don't, I don't really care that much for that. But it's a little smoky color to it. And all those little chips I've been breaking into pieces like this and they've been finding nuggets in these in pieces you know, the size of this All these nuggets in there so all grounded up I say sending that down to my buddy he likes to go through it in fact he got a few nice nuggets over the last batch I think got all the little pieces in there need to be Pound it up. I'll let him do that. I'm too goddamn lazy for it. This is a good box. I've been finding some nice nuggets in, in this stuff here. So, anyways, that's pretty much it for what I look for. Because everybody's a little different. If it doesn't have that gray look to it, I don't really bother too much with it. And I say, a little shale, shiny looking shale stuff. Black sand when it's all ground up. I've always found gold in that. Cool. I don't think there's anything else down here. If you want to see, we got up here. Some, some unlucky. German soldier, a couple of bullets to the head. Uh, we're going to, for my father and uncle, and this one I should, I should have taken good care of them, but they're all rusted to hell now. Most of them had bullet holes in them anyway. This one here still got the leather in it, so we get that rust off it. Anyways. Back from the the quartz in there. I pulled those spikes of a piece of wood. I had tracks on it one time or something. 
I don't think the railroad ties you more and more like a little mine or something. Anyways, guys, I'll be back at you in a little while. Show you those little chips I had last night. So. Thanks again. Take care. Thanks for watching. Good night.